Indeed, it's a very pretty pinwheel garden, and it's located at the corner of Middle Street and Broad Street. Now, organizers say it's all to raise awareness about child abuse and neglect. I'm not sure, um, Spinning in the wind, a pinwheel garden. Those planting it hope it will grow awareness about child abuse and neglect. We really want people to think about what's going on in the world around them, just right even under their own roof. Unfortunately for Carolyn Hamilton, when she was a child, that roof wasn't safe. At that point, I thought, it's all my fault. I thought, I, you know, I did something to cause this. But years later, I found out that was not the case. Now 60, she gets counseling from her friend and social worker, Donna Foster. Both are advocates. They say to help neglected or abused children, their parents should not be forgotten. When you know you can't take care of them, and you say, I want you to be taken care of, and I want you to have a good life, that's a love I have never had to have, and it's an enormous love. Foster has been a foster parent for 17 years. They took part in the kickoff of Prevent Child Abuse Month at Christ Church in downtown New Bern, speaking about their experiences helping children and families in those difficult situations. Um, we want them to be the very best parents and family members that they can be so that our children can grow up and happy, have happy childhoods and be safe. And just as these pinwheels are planted firmly in the soil, really spinning in the wind, many here hope it will be a reminder not to allow child abuse and neglect spin out of control. Now the organizers from that community coalition say that the pinwheel represents the bright future for children. And unfortunately for many child abuse victims, that future is dim. Reporting live at the newsroom, Maduria Chimba for News Channel 12.